Ooh, a bunch of boxing rifle buffs. Oh, snipers are one shot again. That'll be why. Hello everybody, you know who I am and if you don't, you don't care. But I want to talk about the fact that Marksman Rifles have been redesigned in the meta of Warzone 2 and DMZ, and my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, the game in general is feeling a lot more like Warzone 1, which is good because Warzone 1 was obviously a better game. However, if you are an appreciator of Marksman Rifles and Battle Rifles in the game mode, then you will know that the fact that snipers are now one hit is a big change for marksman rifle users because that means there's a lot more a lot more people going to be in that space and there's going to be a lot more counters to using a marksman rifle in these game modes so let's talk about it snipers can now one hit to the head again which my thoughts on this they absolutely bloody should and they always should have been able to and yes i know that might sound a little bit contradictory being a massive marksman rifle fan but there are reasons why this needs to to be the case one, it makes the sniping strategy and long range fighting a lot easier and it actually incorporates different play styles into the game, which the game has been really struggling with. One of the most badass things in Warzone 1 was the fact you could have someone on a sniper or even full teams on a sniper. To have that option of someone to be able to deal with the long range pests, at, like cross maps and all that stuff, the fact that bullet drop is in the game as well, added that extra level of skill to it and you couldn't just go running across open fields and not get punished you had to have strategies for it and you had to have an answer for it and the snipers being able to one hit again is definitely going to bring that that era of it back that kind of nostalgic vibe now nostalgia doesn't mean it was always good but it does mean that you know we're getting more of what we know we enjoy in the game and it's not necessarily the fact that snipers can one shot it's what it also means for the rest of the meta as well because that might not sound like a huge change but it is seismic in terms of what everyone's going to be picking up to address this now there's going to be consequences to run an ar smg there's going to be consequences to run an ar smg and the second that you're in a longer sight line you've got nothing to answer for it Unless, of course, you had a marksman rifle, which is where all you marksman rifle appreciators will have been really loving yourselves the past, what, what's it, six months the game's been out? So this is kind of where, where it's going, and it was long overdue. Now, it is a massive shame that this is at the expense of marksman rifles. And to be fair, Activision were aware that this was going to kill the marksman rifle space. So they have made some significant changes to marksman rifles. And that's the fact that most of them have had movement speed buffs and other little buffs as well. Um, armor damage buffs. So they're not as weak. Well, I'm not going to say weak, but they're not, they're not being hung out to dry. They're getting a bit love. They're getting attention still, and it's been something. It's been something that's clearly been thought out by the developers when bringing back the one-shot snipers. Marksman rifles have not been cancelled, but they are going to be a bit more high-risk, high-reward than what they were in the previous era of Warzone 2, and that's okay because part of marksman rifles typically and traditionally has always been that high-risk, high-reward. Is the fact that if that sniper does not hit your head you will drop them in two three shots and it doesn't matter what range they're at when that happens so that is something that you can consider especially for longer range battles as well where if they knock you you're just going to drop behind cover a teammate can res you or you can res yourself with infinite revives like it's not as it's not as much of a risk to run a marksman rifle as it was in warzone one however you have got equal rewards and this means that marks and rifles are still viable but they're not significantly viable they're not meta busters anymore which yeah is sad in a way but i think we can all agree that that change did need to happen i am more likely to start playing warzone now the fact that you've got one shot snipers i do enjoy the sniper gameplay of it um because i've really only been playing multiplayer because i do want to give warzone a try i do want to give um rebirth and in Arasaka Island ago, but I just, there's just something that put me off the game, it just felt a bit too slow, a bit too camper orientated, but the fact that I can use a sniper in, well, not camp, because that's not really how I use sniper rifles, it's usually taking people at range while moving on the edges of the map, and edge circle is how we used to play, but the fact that we can now do that and have an answer for something at long range, which is consistent, because I can consistent headshot, then that's good, and all the 
I'm more likely to play Warzone now, which is good. Well, more more specifically DMZ. So that's going to be a really good change going forward. So in summary, Marksman Rifles are now niche again, and British niche is the right way of saying it. And <sighs> yes, there is going to be a lot more drawbacks to using it, but you can still stack sniper ammo, you can still stack munitions boxes. So overall, they're in a, they're still in a good spot, Marksman Rifles. But there is now clear like reasons why you wouldn't want to use one and even clearer reasons to why you would want to use them. More people are going to be using sniper rifles now, which means they're not going to be punishing you as much with an assault rifle in the medium range. So that medium range for your marksman rifles, medium to long, that is an era of that's an area of the meta which is now just massively opened up to you. So if you're loving your marksman rifles, keep doing it. Just know that you need to be punishing snipers now when they miss their shots. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. I'm Hoff on the Shadows Rain A1A YouTube channel. You now know who I am. You still don't care. Make sure you subscribe for the next one, and we'll see you in the next Shadows Rain A1A YouTube video. Peace. Oh, fuck's sake, I said peace again.